I've got a half a red pepper. We're going to use some sharp cheddar, uh, about a half a cup of sour cream, some cream cheese, and I just pulled these olives off of the olive bar. They have a little bit of garlic in them. Um, I kind of like that. There's different different things. I think that the olive bar is one of those things where you can do so many things with the different products that are there. Um, these are um, because they're um, what are they? They're um, what am I trying to say? Pitted. Some of the olives that are down there are not pitted, so you have to be careful about what you get. Because I did make the mistake one time of thinking, oh, here's a nice olive mix, and I can make, you know, whatever, and it, it was different color of olives, different kinds, and I put them in the food processor, and all of a sudden you heard, ping, 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 ping. <laughs> and it was a mess, because I had to pull all those pits out of there. So watch when you buy um, anything like that, that you do get it pitted. All right, we're gonna put the um, olives aside. We're going to kind of dice up this. When I made this earlier for the sample, I put everything in the food processor. And I thought it was, I liked it, but I think it might be a little, little bit too fine. I think if I did it again, we'll try it this way. Have a little bit more chunk in it. These olives also come stuffed with blue cheese. Now, I don't know if I'd use it for this with the other combinations of things, but um, that also makes a really not a good dip. Just grind up the, the olives that are stuffed with blue cheese, mix it in, um, chop them in your food processor by hand, whatever. Mix it with a little bit of sour cream and it makes a wonderful dip. cheese. Now I've softened the cream cheese. It's been sitting out for a little bit so it's nice and soft. Okay. And a little bit of sour cream. and put our cheddar in there. And on this one you could substitute another kind of cheese if you didn't like it. You can, I think um, wraps or these little pinwheel things that we're going to do are so versatile. I'm going to smooth this up a little bit. That you can just put about anything in there. Um, I like to just make a um, sort of a paste of sour or um, cream cheese and put some little spices in it or even use the plain cream cheese and put some um, put that on your tortilla put some ham you know put some turkey whatever bacon I think we've done even in class we've done quite a few of the different wraps or pinwheels or whatever all right we're gonna add all this How easy was that? Then we're going to take our tortillas. I think we can just do it right here. And you can use whatever um, tortillas you like. I got these in the um, dairy department, way in the back, because I like the red and green. They're um, green and orange. And you, the, these are garden spinach and vegetable. 
they, I think they have a taste to it. I think whatever you put with it kind of overpowers the taste of the tortilla. If you like to use just the plain flour one, that's fine. Ooh, I got a little mess here. Get this out of the way. Yeah, just, you know, it's, it's more like just kind of using a color to make it a little bit more festive. All right. You can buy different um, kinds. This happens to be, yeah, you can buy, I think sometimes you can find sun-dried tomato. Um, sometimes they're with the um, Mexican food. Um, sometimes it looks like tortillas are found all over the store because I went looking. These, like I said, are found in the back, in the dairy by the eggs and things like that. Um, that's usually that's what they're they are sun-dried tomato and whatever um, it doesn't really matter what the flavor is does that answer your question it's hard for me to talk and work yeah they're, they've gotten more you know sometimes you can find them sometimes it seems like they they have a lot of different flavors out and then the next time you look there's nothing and then the next time you look they're all back so I think it's just one of those things where you have to kind of hit or miss. It doesn't have to be, it can just be the flower ones. I think the flower ones are easy to roll. So um, ra rather than the corn, but if you like the corn, that's, that's fine. Okay, we're just going to spread this on. Roll it up and cut it. Now this is one of the things that um, you might want to put, because the cream cheese is soft and the sour cream makes it a little bit softer, it was a little bit easier to cut to roll these up and put them, wrap them and put them in the refrigerator for a little bit till you're ready to use them. So this you could be making in the morning, stick it in the refrigerator, cut it whenever your guests arrive, or not, uh, before not when they're arriving. You want to be all done with that. Okay. You want to be careful that you don't roll them too tight. You want to, um, if you roll them too tight, <laughs> then all your filling eases, oozes out at the end. So you have to kind of be gentle, but you want to make sure that you get enough at the end so it acts as a little glue, so they hold together. Okay. Clean this up a little bit. All right, let me grab another board here. And when you're cutting this, when you're cutting this, you want to just be careful to cut it with a serrated knife, just kind of like you're cutting bread. That's for the cook. When you're making these, you can have your little, plan your little lunch. So here's our holiday pinwheels. Yeah, I think they turned out good. Okay. <laughs>